Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about a proposal Port Huron Schools is putting before its voters in May, and no better to tell us all about it than the superintendent of Port Huron Schools, Jamie Kane. And yesterday, he gave us a good picture of Proposal 1. There's also a second proposal that voters will be deciding on in May. Tell us about that. Yes, and a reminder that both Proposal 1 and 2 are all needs that we have. The key thing with Proposal 2 is that it addresses, we talked about existing building needs in Proposal 1. Proposal 2 builds on that and takes care of existing building needs that we won't need for a few years down the road. Therefore, it's in the Proposal 2. Another key piece of Proposal 2 is air conditioning at all of our facilities across the district. And really what we want to think about there is really just climate control. We know that students, when they're too hot or too cold, it impacts their learning. And this was an area where we kind of came in thinking, what would the community think if we asked for air conditioning? But what they told us through those surveys, through those community um, sessions was, you know, if we're going to support something in the year 2016 and beyond, we want our kids to have air conditioning available to them. And what, one, what some people might not realize is the amount of time that we use our schools, and we use them year round, and not just for our balanced calendar program at Cleveland, which is a year round school model, but we have summer school opportunities for students. We're looking to expand that actually to include not only interventions and supports for students that are behind per se, but we also are looking at opportunities for students that have enrichment. And we use the majority of our schools year round. It's just not for that traditional instructional day. Uh, the other thing that we've talked about with air conditioning potential is it gives us a ton of flexibility too to potentially expand that balanced calendar model. We're not looking to make the entire district a balanced calendar or year round school model at this time, but we certainly would be looking at expanding that for choice for students. And speaking of choice for students, another big piece of Proposal 2 is repurposing our closed Lakeport Elementary School into a magnet school. And this would give the district a magnet school at the northernmost part of the district and at Kimball. We would be able to have two magnets in the district. And really that's all about, again, making sure that we're giving our students rich, robust pathways and choices and opportunities they currently don't have that are gonna benefit their learning and their preparedness for what's next after the K-12 experience. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.